a ski lodge or something? I look like, um, thingamajig. See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. We've got to find some shelter. There's a lift or something. Yeah, Terrible. ski lifts. Must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. I've never been yeah, skiing either. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. Cool. Anything else around here? There's a bridge, there's another house. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. Well, I have just said little house. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable girl. <laughs> I am more I mean, than hell, just a little girl, so Carlos. Her own arm, she's fit to cross a bridge. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something <laughs> happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Nick, just stay here. We don't want you accidentally shooting off at someone. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. You're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Safety? Safety? Close. Listen, what's the one thing a guy would walk hundreds of miles to get back? Food. Nope. Come on. Clem, it's family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. Seems we're already in the middle like we're of it. We're <laughs> already in the middle of it. Tell me about it. <laughs> hmm. Can't shoot them. Too much noise. But there are only two. What do you think? I think we can take them. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. Pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <laughs> Go on, Clem. And right. Yes, I'm. Uh, mouse, do you want to com com comprende? There we go, thank you. Nice work, kid. Ow.
people. Um, we've got a walker behind us, and we've got a couple in front of us. We're kind of a bit trapped. Uh, yeah, just a bit. We got this. Oh shit! Clem, I'm okay. I just, I'm stuck. You're not okay. Um, uh, I can't reach. It's okay. Clem, look, we'll, we'll figure something out. Behind you. Oh shit! Oh. Clem said a swear you would. <laughs> That's it. Back of the head, or the side of the face, whatever. God. Ooh, climb, 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 don't you dare fall off. You're not going down those rockets again. Shit. <laughs> climb, you better hold off for dear life, woman. You. If you can get around, maybe you can push her off. That's it, lift her legs up. Lift her legs, lift her, go. For the face, for the face, for the face. Always ahead. One thing is another. Thanks, Clem. Let's keep going. You see him? Yeah. Yeah. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. What? Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. <laughs> don't I'd piss shoot him me. off. I'd shoot me. Well, that's a hell of a thing to say. I'm just saying. Well, if it comes to that, I'll shoot him first. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. Oh, uh, wanna help me out here? What do you want? Saw you coming, and I thought I'd meet you halfway. Cool. Let's not do anything to piss him off. Careful there, buddy. Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. You're the one holding You're a gun. You're the one holding a gun. Touche. <laughs> folks headed north like everyone else. Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. They all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? Oh, Nick, you fucking Nick, Nick, Nick. No, 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 no. He's he's with us. Nick! No! Nick! No! <laughs> Nick, you fucking cretin. Luke, 
Punch him. Where is he? Punch him. I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Luke, punch him. Punch him really fucking hard in the face. It's Ben all over again. Nick is Ben. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. You drew on him? Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Shut up, Nick. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't... Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. Well, he said, I mean, he... you could use a little downsizing. He may have been lying about the food. It's worth checking out. I mean, he said he had food, but again, he 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 may have been lying. Um, seriously, we've just we got rid of Ben. We got rid of Ben because he got people killed because he did stupid things, and he's now been replaced with Nick, who again does stupid things and gets people killed. He had no reason to shoot that guy. We were in no danger whatsoever. And for Nick to say that the guy drew on him first? No, 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 no. Nick, you drew on him. And then he drew on us. Or he drew on you. Just, oh, fuck. I don't know if this is going to be to the point of whenever we can kill Nick, we kill him. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we'll see. Right, let's have a little chatty chat. Rebecca, are you okay? I'm alright. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. I had to kill my mom. Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? We had to kill Lee. What's your Luke point? always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Luke, he's becoming a danger to the group. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He seemed all right. Nice. Damn. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. That's all I had left of him. You know what? 
I'm gonna go talk to them. See, it was a good thing that we didn't take the watch, because if we'd have gone, oh, you mean um <clears throat> this watch, we'd have been in big trouble. Because then we'd have been branded a thief. Uh, look through the door first. Make sure it's clear. Uh, looks fine. Looks like to be a radio there. If there is, that's gonna that'll help us a lot. Although I don't know if it's a walkie, but it looks more like a transistor AM FM radio. It's dead. Oh, okay. I guess he slept here. Well, that is generally what bed's for, Clementine. What do we have? Survival knife. Oh, hello. WM. We'll take it. It's going to be a lot better than uh, our little... Well, it's going to be a lot better than a hammer. Feels pretty good. That's for sure. And a chest. Just don't break this one, Clem, please. Thank God for that. Dear Spellman, the Discord's Gambit. Kind of looks like Lord of the Rings. But we got canned food. Peaches. Hey, Alvin. Man, not thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. It's Theodore and Logan about. Guess he did have food. <laughs> Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He's out of control. That's what I'm saying. He keeps on like that, he's going to get one of us killed. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, a woman in our group, lots of people. Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she just shot this other woman. Damn. What you do? We left her behind. Damn. So yeah, we, we've kind of been through it before. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, <laughs> there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group, but I've got to put Beck and the baby first. You understand, right? Rebecca can have it. I won't say anything. Thanks, Clementine. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. Yeah, that probably wasn't the best thing to do, but again, she is pregnant, so... The hell is that? She's going to be eating for two... Uh, walkers. That's a herd of we walkers. Got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Cool, let's go as fast as we can. I'm not sure Rebecca can run that fast though. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. We still have to scout Damn. the place out. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Could probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. <laughs> what am I, a monkey? Just a, a really tall treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. <laughs> but that treehouse should bring back, bring good memories, because that's where we first met Lee. All right. So what are we looking for exactly? I'm guessing. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. 
Gee, thanks. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. What's the question? Well, oh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're you're fine. No, don't right, look just, down. Just slow down. Just for a second, okay? You just told me not to look. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> also, another point. When did we get the uh, the binoculars? I can't remember ever picking them up. So I'm guessing we're we're looking for Carver, maybe. Oh no, random crow. Made it. Ah. You see anything? Uh, that's the bridge. I can see the bridge. And there's a light. It's really dark. Oh, you don't say, Clem. Hold on, just making sure there's nothing else around here. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. Wait, wait there's another. Luke. Luke. Oh, hello. Wait. Is... Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind Just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, Fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Please, just do what he says. Kenny! Holy shit. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? Fucking hug him. I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Oh, I'm so glad he's alive. So, so glad Kenny's alive. Oh, he is a sight for sore eyes. Wow. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. <laughs> What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Whoa, yeah, I'm holding on whoa, to my rifle. Whoa, Rebecca. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? <sighs> Kenny's not going to lie that. these people, Clem? Uh... If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey. Hey, we're cool. We're cool. Uh, just time. calm down. Everyone, calm down. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing.
Ooh, I, I think he was having Remembrance of Duck there. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. An actual fireplace. So... What the fuck happened to you? Where did you Still go? Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? I got him killed. I, uh... He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a guy. When my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well... Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Where have you been? Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? Of beans. So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew oh, and I really it's a what to do long, long week. story, but, you know, Kenny, we're all friends. He never slows down. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. So Gosh, you remind me of my students. He's gonna die then. <laughs> I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Uh, everyone underestimates you. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Sometimes. Smart girl. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Sure. Um, what is what it? What is this? Le Walter Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. A what now? It's peaches and beans. Oh. That's all we got. <laughs> Could have just said that. Huh. Striking resemblance. Yes. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Already said. 
Look around the lodge. Oh, we will do for next time. Oh, right. Five, just, just oh, big stretch. Oh, I didn't get five minutes to just be able to stop there. So, yeah. So, Kenny is back. We finally found him. Ah, so happy. Yes, Kenny was a bit of an arsehole in episode one. Um, but again, he lost Catcher. He lost Duck. He was just, he, oh man, his, his mind was just spiraling out of control. But it seems now that he's got himself back to his old self. I mean, he's happy. He's found Sarita. So it seems like he's he's happy again. Um, I did notice as well, like when uh, Sarah was like, Oh, look, Dad, a Christmas tree. It kind of, you know, you saw that little thing in Kenny's, in Kenny's face of him just remembering Duck. And that must have hurt a little. But uh, I don't know. I, I think he's doing okay. Hopefully he's doing okay. And there's no sort of like lasting damage mentally or anything like that. Oh, so we're also now being chased by Carver. I don't know who he is. Apparently the, the group was with him and they escaped. So was it some sort of camp? Uh, slave labor camp or whatever? I, I don't know. I'm guessing he's going to be our main protagonist. Uh, and we're going to meet up with him again and possibly his group and maybe even find out where this camp is. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, but anyway, guys, thank you all so very much for watching this episode, and I will see you all next time. And as ever, bye-bye.